my god, it's Auntie Belle with my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys. I am coming to you with a, um, we're going to do all this in watercolor. And we're going to do a high contrast piece. And I, I've done some high contrast with watercolor in the past. I just haven't done it for a while. And I was watching Willow. I'll link Willowing. I'll link her channel below. And she had done a high contrast. And she did all the colors that I love. Um, she did a, like a dark blue, a purple, um, and, um, a magenta, all these really cool colors. So anyway, I drew myself a girl and she had drawn her, her girl and, um, let's just get started. So a high contrast means that I don't, usually I base color the face, um, like a skin tone color. It's going to be a white, the face is going to be white and then we're going to add all kinds of watercolor onto it. So. Let's just get started. Um, let me see what brushes I want to use. All right, let's grab some brushes. I think this is the main one I want to use right now. So let me grab my water over here. And the and the uh, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use Jane Davenport's palette. It's the teal one. And I'm going to be using this dark blue color here. Let me put my glasses on. I'm going to be using um, this color called Ink Royal. And um, I might use the Mystic. And then I'll probably end up using uh, Fairy Tale. And that'll be like her blush and maybe a little bit more in a couple extra other areas. And also in her hair. So anyway, let's get started. Grab a paper towel. All right. So we'll see how this works out. I haven't done a high contrast piece like this in a long, long time. Oh, I got, also I need to, oh man, I don't have any water in my water bottle. All right. It's okay. I can just wet my thing like this. Perfect. Usually I spray my water palette down, but I can just use my brush and get it done okay so let's go and I um, drew my girl in advance for this whole thing So sorry I'm being kind of quiet. I'm just focusing. I think I'm focusing so much because I haven't done a um I haven't done a piece like this for a while. And doing something like this that you haven't done for a while is a great distraction. Which don't we all need distractions right now? Yes. Yes, we do. Have you guys started wearing a mask yet? Because um, remember they were telling us not to wear a mask, and now they're telling us to wear a mask because they're saying that it wasn't. It, I don't know. There, there's a bunch of reasons why we shouldn't wear masks. So I wasn't wearing a mask, but now they're saying to wear a mask. So today I went out. I had to go to the post office because I have an eBay business now. Most of the time I have my um, my stuff just picked up from the house, so I don't have to go out to the uh, post office. But today I had to do FedEx, but I don't normally do FedEx. I can always do USPS, and that's what picks up from my house. Well, today they didn't have that. So I was hoping, like, okay, hopefully they have this organized. Because if it was going to be a line, I wasn't going to do it. But I was. there was a lady right outside, so I was able to just give her my package and get right back in my car. And that's all I wanted. If it was going to be like this line, I don't know what I was going to do. I wasn't going to sit stand in a line. 
because this coronavirus thing is getting serious. So, it is getting serious. So, I'm going to take this purple. Um, like I said, this coronavirus is getting serious, not getting, it is serious. It's been serious. So I, um, I didn't want to have to go in and wait in any lines or anything like that. So I wasn't even about to do that. But this lady was already... She was outside. I don't know if she was letting people in or not. I didn't even, I don't know. I didn't even wait around to see. I just was like, you know what? I just need to drop this off. So she just took it and I was able to hurry up and leave. And like I said, if I had to stand in line today at the post office, that wasn't going to happen. So, because I'm just too afraid, like... This stuff is for real. This stuff is crazy. So, um, I just probably would have left. And, um, I'd have just left. And then, I don't know, looked at my eBay and figured out another way to send it or something. But, I got lucky. I got in. I got out. I didn't even have to go in. She was just already outside. And I did have my mask on, so that was good. <laughs> but it's just been crazy. Uh, this whole thing. It's just it's just crazy. It's just been absolutely crazy. Okay. And I, I'm trying to just, and this is really hard for me because you guys know how I like to like kind of place everything and blend it perfectly and all of that. So this is really new for me just to, well not really new because I have done this before, but um, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to be a little bit messy about it and not try to be so perfect. And I don't mean perfect like I'm perfectly at doing things. I mean, try not to place everything so perfectly, you know? Trying to be a little bit messy about it. Cool. Yes, that's what I wanted. I'm going to add a little bit more purple over to this side. Oh, yeah, and I'll add this color purple over here. Just add a little bit of purple over here, but a lighter purple. I want this side to be look darker. Just trying to add water just to make sure the line is just softened and just trying to be messy about it. There we go. Cool. And I mean, I could paint looser, but it's just, it's hard to paint looser when you're so used to, um, when you're so used to, um, controlling your paint. Or just painting in a more controlled way. So this is a, this is kind of stressful, but kind of a fun exercise for me to kind of do something different. Not be so controlled. I can 
think that's the color there that I want to use here. I guess what I'm trying to say, just be really, try to be really, really loose about things. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to be loose. And I think I want to do quite a few of these um, high contrast pieces. So. Doing different girls and then doing different um, color combinations. Even though this is one of my favorite color combinations, right? What I'm doing right now. <laughs> I love purples and blues and magentas and all of that. Absolutely love it. Okay. Let's do some. I'm going to do some magenta right here. I'm going to do some dark purple into here. Or actually, you know what? There we go. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> I feel like a little needs to be a little bit of blue over here. Maybe the blue can just go like, yep, that's it right there. There we go. There we go. Cool. And then let's do the deep purple underneath the eye here. Yeah, you guys have to go check out Willow. Um, she has that one thing, that one course that people have been taking for years. I forgot what it's called. Lifebook. I think she still has Lifebook. Anyway, you guys, go check her out. Um, I love her. I, I learned a lot from her over the years. Just a lot. And she's changed her style up a lot of times. She does lots of different stuff. She has a main style, but she's changed herself up over the years like we all have learning different things and stuff. Um, and uh, I learned a lot from her. I'm sure in my style, you guys have seen some things that she does that I've added to my style. I mean, I've created my own style, but I've definitely adopted things from her that I've really liked over the years. Okay, I'm going to bust my blow dryer out here because I need things to dry a little bit. Okay. And what I'll tell you one thing I want to do, I can already tell right now. This is what I did before when I did this high contrast. I, um had like a drip going down like this love it just make sure that that's there we go I just wanted to make sure that it drip down the right way. So I just want that one drip with a side. Cool. Love that. Cool.
Just making sure that's all connected. So it looks like it's dripping from there. Very cool. Um, let's do some lips on her. And we will do... We'll do magenta lips on her too. We'll do some magenta lips and then let's line her lips with a deep purple. doing right now is I just see like this line right here that just needs to be there we go it just needs to be like I don't want there to be a line I want it to be like muddled into each other there we go and after that dries a little bit I may just put the blue back in there too in just a second we'll see how that kind of meshes together um Let's do a um, the dark blue for the lip line, for like some lip liner here. I think, yep. Do I like that? Well, it doesn't matter if I do or not, that's the way it's gonna be. I already did it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, let's take the um, let's take let's see about this lighter shade of purple, and let's just bring that right into here a little bit more. Ooh, you know what paints I wish I would have used? I have uh, Daniel Smith's watercolors. I should have uh, included that in here, too. I love some Daniel Smith watercolors. Um, they're a beautiful watercolor. They come in tubes. They're really nice. But that's fine. We'll, we'll use those in our next one. Loving this. All right, let me see something here. I want to take, I think I want to take this dark blue and just bring that out more like that. Cool. And we'll take that, um, this purple color and just bring this out just a little bit more. There we go. And then let's give her some eye, some eye color. You know what? You guys know I love a green eye. So we're going to do green eyes surprise if you watch me do any work you guys know I always do green eyes that's nothing new I love a green eye I think a green eye is gonna look good with this hopefully what if I should have done blue it's okay 
Let's do the green. I like green eyes. I think it'll look good. I, I have to. Sh I will shade them with the pencil, like I always do, so they won't look flat like this at all. This is just the base color. I'm just wondering if a blue eye wouldn't look better. Hmm. Let me look at that. No, I'm gonna go with the green eye. I think the green eye is gonna look stunning once I once I do my shading and all of that. I think the green eye is gonna look fabulous. Yeah, it's gonna really like really pop it. Okay, I'm just looking to see what else I want to do here. I think I'm going to get my blow dryer out and I'm going to um, dry things. Oh, let's do a little blush on the cheeks. Oh, you know, I wasn't even checking to see if you guys were able to see what I was doing. <laughs> and you are. So. Let's bless let's bust out some blush on these cheeks. Usually I'm like more concerned. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta make sure I'm in frame and I wasn't even making sure I was in frame. I think because I'm focusing because I am um, I think because I was focusing so much, because like I said, I haven't done high contrast work in a while. So. Cool. Love it. I love doing this because this is such a challenge for me because I, I'm so controlled with when I do things. I don't let things just flow everywhere like I'm doing right now, and I absolutely love it. I'm glad that I'm doing it like this. It's a change. It's a change. It's a challenge. I like it. And definitely bust out your watercolors and try something like this. Um, if you don't draw, um, a lot of us have stamps. So stamp out a face. Or use a face that's in a coloring book. Most of us have all of that, so... Just, just looking at things here. I want to bring that dark purple back under the eye a little bit more. better. Just want to bring that darkness back and there we go. Very cool. Okay, I'm looking to see if I have everything that I want done here. Just look at the purple over here. There we go. Okay. 
and let me look at the blue. I think I'm going to add a little bit more blue. on the edges again. Dang, that blew on my brush went a long way. Cool. I like that because that kind of defined everything just a little bit more. Let's do that again. Um, I'm just defining the outer edge just a little bit with that blue again. I think that just kind of outlining the blue is, um, it's just defining everything a little bit more. Even though it's watercolored, it's just giving a little more definition. There we go. Yeah, love it. And do I want a little bit more purple? Just, just a little bit, just washing this area here. like that just just a little bit just there we go almost just watercoloring into nothingness yeah I like that Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do, oh well, you know, I need to do the I need to do the neck too. Okay, so how do I want to do the neck? Alright, let's throw in let's do the blue. And go all the way down. I just heard something with my camera and hopefully my camera is still on. I'll check here in a second. Okay. I'm going to add some purple in there too. Oh, my camera is just still going. Yay. Um, yeah, let's get that purple going. And then we'll take that purple and bring that down into here too. And just kind of let it fade off into nothing. Yes. And then when I'm when this dries, I'll probably add a little bit more blue in through there. And some of this went into like where the hair is, and that's fine. And then I'm going to take this blue again 
fruit. Put that blue line in here again. Okay. And at the same time, we'll just take our water and soften that line. There we go. And am I like some major watercolorist? Absolutely not. I don't know if what I'm doing is proper technique or not, but the people that I watch, they're just very loose with it and doing their thing. So I like it. Um, let's take this lighter purple color and just, um, there we go. There we go. And we'll leave the rest of that white to kind of match that other side. Looking to see if I want to keep that line that solid or not. Let's see if I want to loosen it up just a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, I do want to loosen that up a little bit. It's a little bit too. There we go. I wanted to put a line in there to be just more distinctive, but I didn't want it to be that solid. Okay, there we go. I think that's what I wanted. It's always hard to tell exactly what you want when you're doing watercolor because it's gonna change. Once it dries, it changes and it's always, it. It changes majorly once it dries, so um, it's hard to kind of tell. Okay, right now, while things are drying, and see if, we'll see if we want to make any adjustments, I want to do the eyes, and I'm going to use some, um, let me rinse this off, I'm going to use some pencil, some colored pencil on the eyes. So we can shade the eyes up nice. I make sure we're still in frame. Yes. And then I'm going to come in closer now. There we go. Perfect. Because we're not, we don't need to work with the whole thing right now. Oh yeah, I'm loving this. Okay. Let me run the blow dryer for just a second, you guys, um, to make sure the eyes are dry and everything around the eyes are dry enough. I'm just going to run the blow dryer over everything just so I don't get my arms or my hands in anything. Um, there we go. If you guys could see the cord mess I have down here. Oh my goodness. It's a mess.
Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to use some pencil here to do the to define the eyes. We're going to do eyeliner. We're going to do a bunch of stuff with pencil and all kinds of goodies. Okay, um, got my cup of pencils. Isn't that cup so cute, you guys? I picked this up at Hobby Lobby. It was regularly five bucks. I got it for a dollar twenty-four on clearance. It wasn't even with that big seventy-five percent off. It wasn't wasn't even with that. Um, it was, um, it was just, I don't know, one of their clearances. Okay, I think these are the two greens I want to use, unless I want to use some of this dark green. Okay, but I don't think so. I need my blender pencil. So what I'm using is I'm using um, chartreuse to do some shading in the eyes and grass green. And then I use that um, Jiminy Cricket. Jane Davenport. And I might use a little bit of this dark green in the very corners, but I'm not sure yet. So we'll see how it goes. Ooh, it's still wet. All right, let's do this part here. Whether I'm doing a watercolor uh, painting or not, I always um, do shading in the eyes like this. Okay, now let's blend this. Oh, and for the rest of it, we're gonna do the hair. We're gonna watercolor the hair, which will be really pretty. But um, as far as the rest of it, like the background, we're gonna do a total mixed media background. And we're going to use some of the, um, we're going to, I, I kind of went in a little too far. We're going to use some of the, um, I just had a video before this one and I made a bunch of, uh, Tim Holtz inspired collage paper, um, out of tissue paper and, uh, and, um, pattern paper. So, um, check that video out before that, this one, I'll, I'll put a link to it at the end. Like on the screen, you know how we can now like make those clickable links and it's a picture right on the screen. I'll do that. And you can go check those out. But that's what we're going to use in the background. That's what will be included in the background. Oh, her eyes. See how this really, really brings her eyes out. Now I'm going to try adding a little bit of this dark green like right in the corners. Let me see if I... Yeah. This looks good. Just a little bit of this right in the crux. Not too far in, but just in the crux. And then blend it out a little bit with my blender. Okay. Now, is this all dry over here? This is all dry, but put my hand here. This is right here is what's not dry. There we go. You guys have to try this this uh, high contrast uh, painting. It can be a little intimidating, but not really. Just kind of follow what I did. You can follow also uh, Willowing, and I will um, link her below so you can watch her video too on her doing high contrast. And I did a lot of the same similar colors. Um, so some techniques are similar as hers, and then some aren't. Like we don't do our... Our eyes, we do eyes completely different. We even draw completely different, our girls and stuff like that. But I just really was in, I was really inspired by the color she used. Um, she left one side a lot white, whiter than the other side like this. And so I did that. So you can look at what I do. You can look at, at what she did, what she did. And get some ideas of what you want to do 
how you want to do it. And it'll still come out completely different. It'll give you some inspiration and a little place to go with it, you know? It'll give you a little guide. All right, hopefully I'm still in frame. Then I'm taking my chartreuse and I'm just going right into that green. Oh, you know what I just did? I used, okay, let's just have two different eyes, two different greens. I used the darker green on this eye, and I used the lighter green on this eye. But you know what? Cool. You know what? It'll look cool. Yeah, it still looks good. In fact, I almost like this darker green even more than I like that one. But we're going to leave it. Cool. <laughs> All right. So we're still going to work on the eyes here. Um, I need to outline the eyes with my, um, with my, uh, drawing pen here. I'm using a Le Pen drawing pen. You can use whatever. Now let me make sure you guys are still there. Yes, you are. And what I like to do is I like to come through once I've done all this and go over and just redefine the eye again. Um, okay. Make sure this is... Okay, make sure that's really nice and dark there. And then I'm going to take, um, this one's Le Pen also, but in this, it's in black instead of a white container. And um, I just want to go right back over the black again. Over her iris again. Just to make it really nice and black. I'm going to take this and go over it. There we go. There we go. I like that better. Very good. And then let's go back over this. So her eyeliner is Okay, so that's really nice and dark under there. Awesome. And then let's go back over the eyelashes. I'm going to go back in with this pen. And this pen, is there a certain number on this pen? I don't know. Oh, it's a 0 0.5. And I just want to go over the eyelashes again. Just to bring them out again because... There we go. Because we've done watercolor and all kinds of stuff all over them, so. And in between, what I like to do is I do the longer eyelashes, and then I like to do another um, eyelash real small in between that, just to give them that extra fullness. I think that looks really good. Okay. So let's go over to the other eye and do the same thing. Let me make sure that you guys are seeing. Yeah, I just got to bring this. I want to work on this eye. Okay. Okay. I really need to turn my book. Let me see if you guys are still seeing everything. Yeah. Um... I'm just redefining the iris here also. Okay. 
And then I'm going to take my other lip pen. And is there a number on this one? This has a quite a bit better tip on it. It's definitely good for filling in. And it's really nice and black. Okay, so then we're going to take this line here. And redefine this. Okay. And then we'll redefine this here. And then let's um, redefine the eyelashes again, like I said. Just kind of following the eyelashes that are already there. I might be out of focus for just a second. I have to. There we go. All right, there we go with both eyes. And then I don't really like to redefine um, my eyebrows. I even I, I like them to kind of not disappear, but I don't like to define them too much. Okay, let's throw some catch lights in these eyes. I'm going to use uh, my mermaid brush. I'm going to use a liner brush. Yep, and some white paint. Okay. Oh, and the pencils I used for her eyes are, um, I think they were all Prismacolor pencils. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I used grass green, I used dark green, Prismacolor pencil, and chartreuse. Yeah, for the eyes. So that was all. Um, okay, we're throwing some catch lights in. Love it. And then we're going to also, this is something I always do to all my girls, is we're going to put some fairy dust on our eyes. And I always use a liner brush to do all this work that I'm doing right now. The brushes I'm using um, these mermaid brushes, they have them and they still have them. I thought they were clearancing them out because someone said they got them on clearance. Um, but I just saw them. They're at Hobby Lobby still. And they're not in the professional section. They're in the craft section. I think on the same, like on a, well now, they used to be like on a end cap, but now they're just in like right next to the acrylic paints, like the cheapy, cheapy acrylic paints, like that. Okay, and then let's throw some, let me make sure you guys are still there. Yep, we're still filming. Um, let's throw some um, fairy dust on the eyes here. And then we're going to go down and we're going to define those lips, um, I believe. Okay. 
fairy dust. That's what I call it. Little sparkles, little fairy dust. Fairy dust. There's just a couple more up in here. Okay. Alrighty. Awesome. Okay, then we're going to go through and I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take, yeah, I'm going to take some purple, uh, I'm going to take a um, Prismacolor pencil in purple. I think it's in violet. Let's see what color this is. Yeah, violet. Let me come out so we can go to the lips. Or let me just bring this up a little bit and then you'll see the lips. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just taking Prismacolor Pencil Violet and we're going to outline the lips. Which will give us some more definition. I, so I just do it kind of like you're lining the lips, like your own lips. You know? So like I said, if you want to try this high contrast painting technique um, and you don't draw, no big deal. Um, get a coloring book page out and do it on a coloring book page. Or um, if you have a stamp, stamp the face out and then do this. Very cool. And then let's do a little blending. Oops. I don't know if this was still a little wet or something. There we go. And then let's just blend it a little bit. Oh, very cool. Love it. And then let's throw some catch lights on the lips. Take that white paint, the white acrylic paint again with my liner brush and let's throw some, okay, some highlights here and there. Okay. Oh, I'm loving how this is looking. Very cool. Okay, let me get those white paint. And we're gonna I'm gonna bring you guys back out again. And let me see how, where we're at with time situation. looks cool. I can come in just a little bit more.
Okay, there we go. So you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop there for today. Let me let you see the neck too. Cool, huh? Yay, I love it. Let's go like that so you can see, really see everything. I am loving this. So what we're going to do in the next part is, um, in part two, is we'll come back and we will do the hair. So um, all the colors that I used in her skin, we're going to take and do it through the hair. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it right now because I really want to see that. Okay, it depends on how I put these, uh, the, put all this together. Never mind. We're going to do it right now because I really want to see how this is going to come out. This is going to be cool. Okay. Um, where's my brush at? Here it is. Okay. So we're, like I said, we're going to use all the same colors that we used in the... I'm just trying to think if I want to do a base color and then throw all these other colors in. No, we'll do it like this. We'll do it the way I'm doing it. And then next to that, let's put in this purple that I love. I love this Jane Davenport palette. It's called Brights is what this palette's called. I think this is the Brights palette. So if you're looking for it, well, the one, main thing to look for is look for the teal, the teal 10. If you end up liking this a lot and you're like, okay, I want that. Just working that line into the blue, making sure they mesh together because I definitely want a meshing of those. And then I'm going to add this magenta color in too. So I'm throwing this deeper purple in here too. Sorry, you guys, I'm getting quiet. I'm just, you guys know when I get quiet, I'm, 
I'm focusing. <laughs> Some of you guys laugh when I do that. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. I'm focusing. So I'm still putting that deep. Deep purple in here. Okay, and I want to use that deep purple, that deep blue again. Cool. Okay, so let me turn my book. get some of the deep purple going like I said you guys sorry if I get quiet for a second I know you guys are used to be talking and I am too but um, sometimes you just have to focus <laughs> on what you're doing For me, watercolor isn't like collaging. It takes me a little bit more focus. When I collage, I don't worry about, I don't focus on Jack Crab. I just go. Because I don't always, um, I use watercolors, but not like this. Like, I don't watercolor almost the whole thing. I usually, um, especially for the hair, you guys see me, I, use, I do a combination of um, all different, um, what do you call it, pencils. And I do, I, I do a combination of pencils on the hair. So, this is a little different for me. I've done it, you know, a lot, of, quite a few times before, 
just haven't done this kind of hair lately so with watercolors And I'm doing like a this this page, how I drew her out. She's her face is almost this. Her face is on the whole page basically. So that's another challenge for me because a lot of times I I work with smaller faces. Like I don't make my faces like the size of the page. But I wanted to do that today too. So doing a whole bunch of stuff I don't normally do. which is good. But this is gonna be a little series. I'm gonna do quite a few of these kind of um, paintings. These high contrast, I love them. So, next few paintings, the next few paintings and um, mixed media backgrounds is going to be this high contrast. So super excited about that. I mean, it's been years since I've done this high contrast type of painting where I left the face, um, just left it, left it the color of the paper and had a really stark contrast with the, um, watercolors I did that like I did a really cool painting like that maybe I don't know a couple years ago it's been a while since I've done it high contrast but I love it so I want to experiment with different girls drawing different girls faces using different um, color combinations I think could be cool. This girl is huge. Well, I mean, her hair is huge. <laughs> It's taking a lot of watercolor to do this hair. Hopefully you guys are safe. Hopefully I'm in frame. Cool. I'm pretty much in frame. There we go. Let me do it like that. Hopefully I can stay like that and then at the right angle um, Thank you. 
just making sure we're getting a good blending between the two colors. There we go. Let's throw some more of this color in here. Some more of this magenta color. I'm going to go back down to the dark blue again. Yeah, I'm going to put, I think, a really big chunk of blue right here where I'm doing this at. I believe. Yeah, this whole thing's going to be one big chunk of blue, I think. If I don't like it, I can always change it. Right? Right. I always can add a little something to it if I don't like it. But I think I want to get it. I want to have a really nice big. I don't want things to look too even. That's what I'm trying to avoid. That's why I'm thinking this big section of blue here is going to be fabulous. Okay, and then let's just just making sure my lines are blending and 
into that other color, that magenta. Cool. Oh, I'm loving this. Yeah, I'm glad I put that big thing of blue in there. And then what else are we doing? Put purple in through here. Cool. Make sure we have a good blend between that blue and that. I like that and let's end it in the dark blue um, let me check the time situation make sure you guys are still okay you know what I, you know what I love about my new phone is that I can tape forever I don't have like my phone doesn't just cut off like after an hour my battery's like, cause it's so new. It's fabulous. Okay, you know what I just realized? Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna add some purple right next to the skin, but right now I'm okay with doing this. Right next to her face, I'm going to put in this dark purple right here. There we go. Just a second. All right, come on. Let's get enough color on here. There we go. that dark there we go there we go
So like I said, you guys, sorry if I'm, I'm a little more quiet on this video than I normally am. I'm just, I'm really creating as I go along. I mean, like, I don't have it. I know the colors I'm using, but I don't have it all pre-planned as far as like how I'm mixing up this hair color and everything. So I'm focusing more than I normally do. <laughs> so excuse me for being so quiet. I guess I shouldn't feel like I always need to be talking, but, but I do. I, I feel weird just having silence in my art room here. And I probably feel weird because um, normally if I'm crafting my room and I'm not making a video, I'm just doing some art. I always have a YouTube video on, of course. Don't we always all have a YouTube video on? <laughs> I know I do. I'm always watching one of you guys. I think it's pretty cool how we can all keep each other company with our videos and always teaching each other different things. It's pretty cool. I can tell you this, that this YouTube thing has been one of the best things that has happened to me. The absolute best. Do you guys feel like that too? I'm sure you guys do too. get to meet people who are excited about the same things you're excited about and like the same things. You get to find your tribe. That's what I like about it. Everybody can find their tribe. Whatever you're into, you can find the other people that are into that too. Okay, let's throw a little bit of magenta in here again. Oh, do I want to throw a little magenta? Nope. Let's throw a little bit of purple. Just a second. Do I have a paper towel somewhere? Oh, here it is. Let's throw some magenta in here. And then we'll throw, oh, I'll have to super glue that back on. My little, my brush came off the thing. Um, this will be perfect to throw the blue right in through there, the dark blue. Just a big chunk of dark blue. Perfect. 
perfect. I like the blue because it just really like it grounds the piece, I think. It's kind of acting like our black. Which we're going to throw some black lines in here too. Like some black hair strands. Which we'll do have to do once this all dries. We won't do this that today. Like I'm going to take um, a black uh, pen. And we'll throw in a uh, black line. You know black hair strands in here which will define everything, give some more definition to all this hair. And then we might also take some colored pencils and also do that too, we'll see. A black pencil will give, look, make, look, just give it like some hair strands. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, this looks so cool. Okay, we're good for today because we need to let, we need to let all of this dry. And anything that I've gotten like messy on the outside of my book, no major, because we're going to do, um, we're going to do, um, a mixed media background with that. So, Ooh, this has been, this has been long, but uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. We need to, we need to let this dry, let it dry overnight. We'll come back with a black pen like probably like this and maybe this black pen too, two different ones and draw hair strands in. Okay. And that's going to give it flow and just, it'll just look really, really cool. I think throwing the black hair strands in there and we might throw in a couple of purples. We'll see. I think just the black hair strands, thinner and thicker lines of black hair strands will be really cool. Um, and then we'll start the, um, what is this? We'll start doing the, um, what is this called? Where all the white space is. We'll start doing our mixed media background. The background. That's what I, meant to, I was trying to say. We'll do the background. And that'll be next. So I hope you guys are liking how this is turning out. I am loving it. I think this is turning out really, really pretty. Let me just come up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm loving it. So pretty. I wish this was dry right now so I could throw all the black hair strands in. Because I think that's going to even just make the hair even cooler. But we'll stop here for now. When we come back, we will. When we come back, we'll put the uh, hair, black hair strands in, thick and thin, and then we'll start on the whole background. Okay, um, with you know all the collage and all the stuff we love to do on that. So, okay, you guys, that's it for this one. I hope you guys like this. Um, comment below and tell me if you're going to try some high contrast painting and um, some loose high contrast painting um, and let me know how you like this all right you guys i will talk to you guys in the next one and we'll continue on talk to you soon